Once among the stars, a great war raged. A malevolent power had been released and had taken the form of an evil tyrant named Tyler. His madness laid waste to an entire world until one rose from the ashes to oppose him. Her name was Julie. And when the battle was done, she alone stood triumphant. Since that day, 30 years have passed. Julie and the survivors of the Great War sought to rebuild their lives back on the colony of Eden. As the colonists rebuilt their world, they discovered something wonderful. The water within Eden is the beginning and end of all life. None of the colonists have aged in the past 30 years. And this time they protected their world with a powerful energy shield and an orbiting FAC-2 hazard beacon. Knowing that the shield would keep possible attackers at a distance, and the beacon hiding their secret under the veil of a fatal wasteland, the colonists have grown happy in their comfort and safety. But the universe is full of would-be gods. And the machines of man alone cannot change the call of destiny. Sister, you should be resting. Nah, I'm fine. Besides, it's a fine morning to look at the sky. Even more so with this morning's news. What news? A big asteroid hit the shield this morning. Did you hear it? No, I guess my mind must be elsewhere today. Well, snap out of it. It's a beautiful day. And my baby knows it too. He's kicking like a creeper this morning. I think I should rest today. If you see Jermaine in town, tell him to come feed me. His baby's hungry. I'll be sure to give your hubby a swift boot to the ass and send him on his way. Julie? Hey, Balthasar. The morning dew is working wonders for these Nova Lilies. Yeah, the place looks great. Dad, look a lot better if these Schleeks would stop eating everything I plant. Come here, you little. Just, just stay still. Ha! 
they weren't so easy to catch. I don't know what I'd do. Looks like they throw well, too. <laughs> the little buggers sure do. Well, good luck. See you later, Balthazar. Goodbye, Julie. Controls. Are you just going to sit around the house all day? Well, if you're just going to sit around, go get us some food. I'm hungry. Something with pickleberries. Are you just going to sit around the house all day? Good morning, Julie. Ready for some training today? I'm always ready. Good. Let's go. Hello, Julie. Welcome back to training. 
To begin training, step up to the glowing floor. If you feel like skipping training today, just push the button on the door there. In the top left corner of your screen resides the health and water display. The red meter represents your health. Health can be replenished by locating any of these items in the world. The blue meter represents your water supply. Keep your water levels high by finding water ampules. Water provides you with many things. First, it acts like armor, decreasing the damage you take when attacked. The more water you have, the better protected you are. Second, electrical and fire swords depend on certain amounts of water to function. Keeping your water levels high is important if you want to unlock the full potential of your arsenal. Finally, when your water level reaches close to its maximum amount, you'll be energized and will be able to run faster and jump farther. Located in the top right corner of your screen is your weapon status display. Since you can equip most weapons in either hand, the left and right circles represent your left and right hand. The meter on the left represents how much total ammo you have for the corresponding weapon. The meter on the right represents how much ammo is in the current weapons clip. When ammo is transferred into a clip, that ammo stays in the clip until used. Some weapons require the use of both hands. When you equip one of these weapons, your weapon status display will change to this. Since most dual-handed weapons have two modes of fire, the meters on the left and right represent ammo for each mode of firing. There are six inventory categories, each accessible by pressing the corresponding number key. Key 1, swords. Key 2, slings and shields. Key 3, small arms. Key 4, explosives. Key 5, big guns. And key 6, quest items. To equip a weapon, press a number key until the weapon you want is selected. Then press left or right attack to equip the weapon in the desired hand. Some weapons can only be equipped in a certain hand. If you are trying a weapon and it won't equip, try putting it in the other hand. Now, go pick up that sling. To equip the sling, press the 2 key until the sling is highlighted, then press left or right attack to equip it. Step onto the glowing floor to proceed with your sling training. To fire the sling, hold down either attack button and release when you're lined up with your target. The longer you hold down the button, the further your projectile will go. Your standard sling has unlimited rock ammo and is used primarily to hit objects that are normally out of reach. Hit all of the following targets with your sling to proceed. Good job! The sling can also be used to stun small creatures. Hit this sleek with your sling, then walk over to him and press the use key to pick him up. Now that you've got a sleek in your hands, walk over to the cage and press either attack key to toss him in. Excellent. Now step into the glowing floor to learn about distracting creatures with your sling. In many situations, the sling can be used to get a creature's attention. Use your sling and try to lure that sleek onto the glowing target. Use your sling and try to lure that sleek onto the glowing target. Perfect.
Now let's move on to some better firepower. The handgun fits into the small arms category, and as all weapons in that category, can be equipped in either hand. To equip the handgun, press the 3 key until the handgun is highlighted. Then press left or right attack Shoot all the targets with your handgun to continue. Next up, go pick up that thermal detonator. Equip a detonator by pressing your 4 key. Highlight the detonator and press left or right attack. Detonators alone don't pack much of a punch, but if you place them next to a volatile object, you'll get quite a reaction. Place a detonator next to each of these asteroids to see what happens. Pick up your sword, sword to proceed. Single-handed swords can only go in your right hand, thus keeping your left hand free to equip many other types of weapons. Run around and swing your sword for a while to get a good feel for it. Good. Now, let's learn how to do sword combo. Watch the hologram for reference. Initiate a combo by pressing and holding right attack until you have completed one sword swipe. During the second sword swipe, press and hold left attack to start a combo. Be sure to hold down left attack until the combo is complete. Excellent. Now try it again, just to get it done. Good job. Now let's throw a shield into the mix. To equip your shield, press the 2 key until you highlight the shield, then press left attack to equip it. All shields can only go in the left hand. Now do the same as you did before. Press and hold right attack until the second sword swipe, then press and hold left attack. Do that once more to get it down. Each weapon you put in your left hand during single-handed sword combos will execute a different style of combo attack. Try multiple weapons in the left hand to unlock your full potential. To holster weapons, press the holster weapons key. Press it again to re-equip your last holstered weapons. Now, we are going to learn how to defend yourself with your shield. To use your shield, press and hold the left attack button. This shooter is going to spit poisonous darts at you. Deflect as many as possible with your shield. And finally, grab that health file. To use the health file from your inventory, press the 6 key until the health file is highlighted, then press left or right attack to use it. This concludes your weaponry training. Now let's move on to the obstacle course. climb steps, ledges, or objects that don't require jumping. To climb a ledge or object, simply push forward against the object you want to climb. 
If you need your arms to climb something, you'll need to holster your weapons before trying to climb. If you walk slowly up to a ledge, you won't fall off. Jump over these gaps to continue. To grab a ledge, run and jump towards the ledge, and you will grab it automatically. Press forward again to pull yourself up. Jump up and hang on the glowing edge to proceed past this obstacle. Once you are hanging down, you can shimmy left and right with the strafe keys. Also notice that if you move your mouse, you can look around to see where you're going. Press the back key to release yourself from a wall hang. Press the crouch key to get under this obstacle. While crouched, you can move in all directions. Try strafing left and right to perform rolls. Ampules aren't the only way to replenish your water supply. Anytime you see flowing Eden water, standing in it will replenish your water supply up to the halfway mark. Going higher is dependent on water level. To proceed past this area, you must first push and pull that crate into the glowing target. To pull or push an object, stand in front of the object and tap the Use key. You will then be able to push or pull the object around with your forward and back keys. To stop pushing or pulling an object, tap the Use key again. Now, to get past that narrow ledge, you will need to perform a wall hug. Back up against the wall next to the ledge until you stop. Press back again to become locked into a wall hug. Good. Use the left and right strafe keys to move around. You'll notice during a wall hug, you can move your mouse around freely to see where you're going. On to the pipe climb. To grab a pipe, first center yourself under the pipe and then press the jump key. Move using your forward and backward keys. Pressing crouch will release the pipe. Some obstacles may require you to bring your legs up. Press the jump key to wrap your legs around the pipe, allowing for better fits into small areas. Once your legs are up, Forward and backward, throughout Eden, you will find monkey bars. Jump up to automatically grab the monkey bars. You can move in all directions while on monkey bars. Use the directional keys to move. Pressing the crouch key will release you from the monkey bars. To grab a rope, simply jump towards it. To move up and down, press the jump and crouch keys. To swing back and forth, use your directional keys. Release the rope by pressing the use key.
To climb this wall, walk up to either of these climbable surfaces and press forward. From the climbing position, move forward, backward, strafe left or right to navigate the wall. Press jump to release yourself from the wall. To use this crank, press and hold the use key until the door has moved into the desired position. Stand next to each of these glowing objects and press the use key to activate them. Good job! You just finished all your training. Thanks for the training. No problem, Julie. Before you go, here is your sword and your sling. Ah, thanks again. See you later. Bye.